A scary situation in Lincoln County where police are on the lookout for the suspect in an early morning home invasion. WCNC crime specialist Glenn Counts is joining us live now with more details about this case. Glenn? Well, Sonia, you certainly don't expect something like this to occur in rural East Lincoln County, but the victim in this case was prepared and the intruder was no doubt surprised. And undoubtedly, my wife heard it when he knocked that flash. Yeah. Did you hear anything or were you asleep? I sleep. She woke me up. That was the start of one of the scariest mornings of Troy Howard's life. The intruder wasn't shy. In addition to bashing at a window, he also broke a picture right near the bedroom door. Howard's wife of nearly 50 years was able to get up and quickly lock the door. She then hid in the closet. Howard got his shotgun and waited for the intruder. He got it open. I mean, he was coming. I was sitting ready. And I jammed and... Uh, Pull the trigger at the same time. And I figured if I'd shoot right along there, I'd about have to hit him. Howard was out of ammo and waited 30 minutes before opening the door. A blood trail leads out the way the suspect came in. Yeah. Maybe think for to keep doing stuff like that. It had to get the attention of a thing. Well, the suspect hasn't been caught, so we don't know how badly he's been hurt, but consider this. Howard loads some of those shotguns with double-odd buck. If that had been the case this time, the intruder might not have made it out of that house. Reporting live from our WCNC mobile newsroom in East Lincoln County, I'm Glenn Counts.